In this video, we're going to use a percent to find a total amount. 12.6 is 35% of what number? This is my key information, right? That 12.6 is 35%. So what that means is that this 12.6 is equal to 35%. If I wanted to represent that visually, what it would look like is a bar, which would be equal to 100%. So think of it like 100% of your candy bar, right? And you are looking for 35%. Well, I know that 35% is pretty close to 33%, which is the same thing as one third. So that means that 12.6 is about equal to one third of the total. So I know that this chunk here is equal to 12.6 and I want to know what is the total amount of three of those put together. So what's this total equal to, right? So you could estimate, you could say that 12.6 is about one third, which means that these other thirds are each equal to 12.6, and I can add them up. So I know that my total amount is somewhere close to 37.8. It's not going to be exact, because remember that I estimated over here, I rounded 35 to 33. But I know it's going to be close to this. There are two vocabulary terms that we're going to need to solve. The first one is a ratio. So a ratio is just a math sentence that compares two amounts. And the second one is a proportion. So we're going to use a proportion to solve this problem today. Remember that a proportion is just two equivalent or equal ratios. So I'm gonna set up my proportion here. There's one ratio, I'm comparing the top number to the bottom number, and it's equal to another ratio comparing the top to the bottom. In this case, I have a part 35%, and I'm comparing that to a total 100% or that number that I don't know. So let's start by filling in what we know. I know that the total amount in a percent is always going to be 100 because a percent is always out of 100. All right, and that means that the other number that I don't know, this total amount, is going to be equal to 100. So the missing number, I assigned it a variable, I called it x, just a number that I don't know is equal to 100. And now let's fill in our parts. Well, I wanna make percent with percent, so I have 35%. And then I do know this number, it's 12.6. So now you've set up your proportion, your two equivalent ratios. 12.6 out of x is equal to 35 out of 100. And now all we need to do is solve. The method that we're going to use to solve is to cross multiply and divide. I'm looking for the value of this x. So when I cross multiply, All I need to do to solve for x now is divide by the coefficient, 35, whatever I do to one side, I do to the other side because this is an equation, they're equal. 35 divided by 35 just gives me 1x and
This means that the total amount is equal to 36. So, 12.6 is 35% of 36. If you wanted to check your work really quickly, all you need to do is take 35. I'm going to turn 35% into a decimal. And then all I need to do is multiply 36 times 0 0.35. Which means that my answer is correct. This 100% is equal to 36. Woohoo! If you like this video, please like, subscribe, or leave a comment below. Thanks!